我们很感恩，今天大家还是有机会啊，跟我们在这边来聚集。We're very grateful that today、uh, we can gather together and、uh, celebrate the good,、uh, have the Good Friday service. 我们非常了解，在疫情过后，大家的时间都安排的非常的紧凑。We understand that after COVID, everybody's time is very、uh, constricted. 我们都希望能够用我们。可以有空的这些周末，能够跟我们的自己的家人，或者说到外面去旅游。We wish using the weekends that we are available and time away、uh, to spend with our family on vacation. 而在我们的信仰当中，却有一个日子，我们非要来纪念，非要来谨守不可。But with our faith, there is one special day that we must come and remember. 这个日子不是圣诞节。This day is not Christmas. 这个日子不是感恩节。It is also not Thanksgiving. 居然在圣经里面告诉我们一定要守的日子，乃是纪念一个死亡的日子。But the Bible recorded that this one day that we must remember, it's actually a day of death. 让我们来从圣经里面来思想，这个是怎么样的一个日子。Let us using the Bible to understand what kind of day this is. 以及为什么圣经告诉我们一定要去用这个日子来纪念。And why the Bible tells us to use a certain way to remember it. We from the Bible see that in the Bible we can see that in the Bible we can the Bible we can see that in 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 the Bible we can see Around AD thirty, thirty years in AD, our Lord Jesus reminded us that we have to remember one day. 以至于到西西元两千多年之后的今天 ，even up to two thousand AD, ah, nowadays, 我们依然纪念这个日子。We still remember this day. 让我们回到圣经的话语当中来思想，为什么神要我们来纪念 ？Let us go back into the Bible to see why we have to remember this day. 到底是纪念什么东西 ？And also, what are we remembering? 为什么不把圣诞节记载圣圣经当中，让我们这样子快快乐乐的来纪念呢 ？Why not have us、uh, happily celebrate Christmas, joyfully remember it? 为什么不用感恩节作为我们基督徒最重要的日子呢 ？Why not use Thanksgiving as the most important day for us Christians? 我们先来看在西元前一千五百年所发生的事情。Let us first look at what happened to 1500 BC. 那我用底下的经文，我将会朗读给大家来听。I'll use the following scripture and read it to everybody. 然后我会请。我的翻译来读英文的部分。And then we'll read it in the,、uh, we'll read it in English up here. 经文出自于出埃及记第十二章。耶和华在埃及地小谕摩西、亚伦说：“你们要以本月为正月，为一年之首。你们吩咐以色列全会众说：本月初十日，个人要按着富家取羊羔，一家一只。”若是一家的人太少，吃不了一只羊羔，本人就要和他隔壁的邻舍共取一只。你们预备羊羔要按着人数和饭量计算，要无残疾。一岁的公羊羔，你们或从绵羊里取，或从山羊里取，都可以。要留到本月十四日，在黄昏的时候。以色列全会众把羊羔宰了，各家要取点血，涂在吃羊羔的房屋左右的门框上和门楣上。当夜要吃羊羔的肉，用火烤了，用无酵饼和苦菜同吃，不可吃生的，断不可吃水煮的，要带着头、腿、五脏，用火烤了吃。不可剩下一点，留到早晨。若留到早晨，要用火烧了。你们吃羊羔，当腰间束带，穿上鞋，脚上穿鞋，手里拿杖，赶紧的吃。这是耶和华的逾越节，因为那夜
，我要巡行埃及地，把埃及地一切投生的，无论是牲畜，都击杀了；是呃，无论是人是牲畜，都击杀了。又要败坏埃及的一切的神，我是耶和华。Exodus chapter twelve, verse one: The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, "This month shall be for you the beginning of months; it shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell at the con- tell all the congregation or Israel that on the tenth day of the month, every man shall take a lamb according to their father's house, a lamb for a household. And if the household is too small for a lamb, then he and his nearest neighbor shall take according to the number of persons, according to what each can eat. You shall make your account your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male year old. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day, or this month. Uh, of this month, when the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lamb at twilight, then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two door、uh, doorposts and the、uh, and the intel lintel of the houses in which they can they eat it. They shall eat the flesh that might、uh, that night roasted on the fire with unleavened bread and better herbs. They shall eat it. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled. Uh, in water, but roasted, its head with its leg, and its inner parts, and you shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning, you shall burn. This, in this manner, you shall eat it, with your belt fastened, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is, it is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and on all the gods of of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. This passage of the Bible is because when the Israelites in the exile of Pharaoh were under the yoke of Egypt, they were suffering and suffering. 于是他们跟呼神呼求说：“神啊，救我们脱离这样的权势。” The story is recorded where the Israelites were under the Egyptians; they were under oppression, so therefore they cried out to God and asked Him, "Lord, please help us." 但是法老王哪肯轻易的让这些奴隶离开他的国度呢 ？But of course, the pharaohs would not let the slave out easily. 于是神借着摩西跟。法老王宣告：“你不让我的人民走的话，你将会遭受灾难。” So therefore, using Moses, the Lord used Moses to talk to Pharaoh, telling Pharaoh that if you do not let my people go, you will experience plague. Experience plagues. 当每一次灾难下来的时候 ，Every time a plague occurs， 法老王就害怕了。Pharaoh became scared in his heart. 法老王就答应让以色列人走 ，And he agrees to let the Israelites go. But of course, at the very last second, he、uh, he changes mind. 然后下一灾就来到 And then the next plague occurs. 然后前面一共已经发生过九个灾难 Nine plagues already has happened. 很奇怪的是，这九个灾难里面 The strange thing is within the nine plagues. 有很多灾难，神不让这些灾难临到以色列人当中。God did not let some of the plagues occur in the Israelites. 虽然他们都在埃及地 ，Even though the Israelites were amongst the Egyptians， 但是有一些灾难就是不会临到以色列人。But some of the plagues just did not occur to the Israelites. 而这个九个灾难过去之后 ，However, after the nine plagues， 法老依然不愿意让以色列人走。Pharaoh is still hard, hard. His heart is still hardened and would not let the Israelites. 最后第十个灾难临到了 And then the tenth plague occurred. 我们看见这个灾难有点奇怪 We can see that this plague is a little bit different, different, strange. 这个灾难，神是说，凡是在埃及地里面所有投生的，只要是长子，一定都会被我杀 Because the Lord said, "It amongst you does the firstborn." Does not matter where you are. The firstborn will be killed. 
我们发现一件非常奇怪的事情。We find this strange phenomenon. 神分明可以让这个灾难只临到埃及人，不是吗 ？God could simply make this plague localized to the Egyptians. 但是神却产生了一个灾难，他们是可以躲避的。But God has created a, a disaster that they can avoid. 只要每一家人取了一只羊，把羊宰了以后，把这个血流出来，然后涂在自己家的门框上，你就可以避开这个灾难。As long as you kill a lamp, let the blood out using the blood and wipe it around the door door frame, the door post, you will be able to be passed over from the plague. 当这个灭命的天使经过的时候，看到这个血。他就不进去灭他。When the angel passes by, sees the blood around the doorpost, the angel would not come in and kill the firstborn. 不论里面是埃及人，还是犹太人。Does not matter if it's an Egyptian or Israelites in the home. 另外也是一个非常奇怪的事情，如果里面是犹太人，但是他没有涂这个血，他就会灭命。The strange thing is, if it's an Israelite family within, but they did not cover the doorpost with blood, the firstborn will be killed. 而他们得以生存、得到解救的方式是什么呢 ？What is the way, the only way that they can survive? 是由一个死亡使之，他们可以得救。And that is through death that they are able to be alive. 没有牺牲，他们就得不到拯救。Without sacrifice. They will not be saved. Then God tells them, "You will remember this every year." And then the Lord tells them, "Now from now on, every year you have to remember. You have to remember this." So therefore, from then on, every year that the Israelites gather together, so all the children and the young people have to deal with one thing. Whether kids or adults, they have to do one thing. 就是他们必须要杀一个羊羔。That is, they must kill a lamb. 然后把他的血流出来。Uh, let the blood out. 然后，神要他们每年这样子做。God wants them to do this every year. 今年做完，明年做。After this year, after you do it this year, you have to do it. 明年做完，后年做。After you do it next year, you have to do it the following year. 他们可以做其他快乐的事情。They can do something that's happy. 但是他们要过这个节的时候，他们必须要先杀一只羊。However, if they have to get to celebrate Passover, they must kill a lamb. 然后他们在圣殿里面，如果他们在帐幕里面，他们所要做的事情的时候，要把这个血拿出来。If they're doing something in the holy temple, they have to bring the blood out. 他们要把这个血沾在坛的四围。They have to put it around the altar in the four corners of the altar. 大家可以想象，每次过这个节的时候都有血腥味。And can you imagine every time you celebrate Passover, there's the scent of blood? 为什么就不把它放到厨房里面，大家都不要见血就结束了呢 ？Why can't you just put it in the kitchen where you can't see the blood and let it be? 我们再看底下的经文。Let's look at the following scriptures. 出埃及记第十二章第四。十三节这边继续说，这血要在你们所住的房屋上做记号。我一见这血就越过你们去。我击杀埃及地头身的时候，灾殃必不临到你们身上，灭你们。你们要纪念这日，守为耶和华的节，做你们世世代代永远的定例。Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, 14. It says, "The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague will befall you to destroy you. When I strike the land of Egypt, this day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations, as a statue forever. You keep, you shall keep it as a feast." 神要以色列人所纪念的，并不是冰雹的灾害。God did not want the Israelites to experience a hail， 也不是青蛙的灾害。Or the 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 plague of frogs。但是要以色列民记得是。But he want the Israelites to remember。因着血，他们得到拯救。You have been saved because of blood。
。血代表死亡。Blood represents death. 血代表与身体分开。Blood represents being separated from the body. 而所有以色列民。要跟大人、跟小孩，他们要一起，每年都要经历这件事情。However, the whether kids or adults of the Israelites, they have to experience this every year. 这为什么要这样子呢 ？Why do we have to do this? 每年都要这样子去想到这件事情呢 ？Every year we have to re, be reminded of this. 因为如果没有用。逾越节的这一个晚餐去纪念的话 ，If we do not use the Passover feast to remember this occurrence， 他们就忘记他们原来是被奴隶的。They will forget that they were once slaves。他们忘记他们原来就是应该该死的。They forget that they once were supposed to be put to death。今天我们人都有罪。Today us we are all sinners。我们很多时候被外面的事物所搅扰，我们忘记我们有罪了。We're often stirred up by the the things surrounding us,、uh, and we forget forget that we are sinners. When we're healthy, when we're healthy, when we have an income. 我们忘记了我们需要神。We forget that we need God。我们忘记我们死后要经历审判。We forget that after death we'll have judgment。当以色列人他们以后进应许地之后 ，After the Israelites enter the Promised Land。他们如果不守逾越节的话 ，If they do not remember Passover， 他们忘记乃是有一个生命先为他们牺牲，他们才得以拯救的。If、they will forget that there once was a, a body that was、uh, sacrificed for them。他们之所以得到拯救，乃是因为每一家有一头羊为他们牺牲了。They were able to be saved. It's because there was a sacrifice from a lamb for each individual family. This lamb, the blood that came out of the lamb, represents life. This blood 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 It says, "For the life of the、uh, flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life." 主在这边跟以色列人说 ，The Lord is telling the Israelites here: 你们只要活着，你们就有罪。That as long as you live, you have sin. 你们思想有罪。You your mindset is sinful. 你们的言语有罪。Your words are sinful. 你们的行为有罪。Your conducts are sinful. 甚至不知道的时候都可能在犯罪。Even when you don't even know that you are sinning. 因此，我们要不时的来到神面前，我们要为我们的罪去付上赎价。So therefore, we have to pay a price for our sins all the time. 必须要流血才能付清这个罪的赎价。Only through blood we will be able to pay full price for sin. 但是我们有罪来到神面前的话，我流自己的血，我就一次就再也活不了，活不了了。But if we're paying for our own prices, we shed blood, we shed our own blood, then we will not have life. 希伯来书在这边说，这血就是神与你们立约的凭据。啊、uh, ，Hebrews it says, uh, this is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. 按着律法，凡物差不多都是用血洁净的。若不流血，罪就不得赦免。Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. 那怎么办？我们每一个人难道要流自己的血吗 ？So then, what happens? Do we have to shed our individual blood? 因为是我犯罪，所以我必须要流血。I have sinned, so therefore it has to be me shedding my blood. But God, through Passover, told us one thing. 在以色列人在在旷野的时候，神告诉他们一件事情。And the Lord told the Israelites this thing, uh, while they were in the wilderness. 神要借着一个律法当中的一个作为，告诉他们一个将来要成就的真理。They wanted God told them a truth that will be uh fulfilled in the future through a law. 在利未记十六章二十节这边说，亚伦为圣所和会幕，并坛献完了赎罪祭，就要把那活的公山羊奉上
In Leviticus 16.20, it says, And when he has made an end of atoning for the holy place and the tent of meeting and the altar, he shall present the live goat. And Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel and all their transgressions, all their sins, and he shall put them on the head of of the goat and send it away into the wilderness by the hand of a man who is in readiness. Yang Mio Fan Zui. The goat didn't sin. Does you run fan the Zui? But men have sinned. Yang the Shu Tan Dai Ti Wom the Zui. How can the blood of a goat wipe away our sin? Woman Zi Jia Zui Nia Na Fu Dan the Chi. How can we pay for our transgressions and our iniquities? If today we're on the road and we're driving, we accidentally killed a pedestrian. How can I take a goat and bring it to the police station and say, oh, this goat represents me? However, the Lord uses this in the Old Testament to show us one thing. And that is a goat cannot pay for our sin. It is just a representation, a foreshadow. When the priests put their hands on the goat, it is telling the goat, you are to take our sins. Because we cannot face the result of our sin. So therefore they have to do this every year. In verse 22, it says, The goat shall bear all their iniquities on itself to a remote area, and he shall let the goat go free in wilderness. It's actually the Lord trying to show them something through their action, through their deeds. That is, God will not forget your sin. We have offended others. We have harmed others. Time will not wipe everything away. To a certain point, you have to turn back and face what you have done. What do we do? But using the Passover, God is reminding the Israelites there is a solution. If there is a lamb in the future that can completely take away your transgressions, the sins that you have committed in the past, the current sins that you're committing, and the sins that you will, con you will do in the future, it can take away all of them. That is a perfect lamb. And that is the perfect for the law. So when Jesus came to the world, the Pharisees and other uh, teachers of the law wanted to challenge him. They say, Jesus, you came amongst us to share your teaching. It is different from our teachings. 
。难道你要给我们一个不同的律法吗 ？Are you trying to give us a different law？ 难道你是要来捣蛋的吗？ Or are you trying to stir up problems? 但是耶稣说，莫想我要来废掉律法和先知。Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. 耶稣说，我来不是要废掉，乃是要成全。I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. 也就是告诉以色列人说，我耶稣今天来到这世上。He is trying to tell the Israelites that me, Jesus, I have come to this earth. 我要告诉你这些律法真正的意义是什么。I want to tell you what the true meaning of these laws. 而且这个律法它是有个终点的。And this law, there is an end. 就好像律法本身是一个地图。For example, the law is like a map. 律法不是我们人生的终点，律法是我们人生认识真理的一个地图。The law is not the final destination. The law is a map for us to understand. 让我们了解、认识那成就律法的那一位。For us to understand and get to know the one that have fulfilled the law. 难怪当耶稣刚刚来到地上开始他的事工的时候。No wonder when Jesus first came to to the or came first came down to share start teaching. 使徒约翰看到耶稣，他就说 ：“John the Baptist saw Jesus, and he said。”他说：“看哪、啊，神的羔羊，除去世人的罪孽。” Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world。因为使徒约翰看到了。Because John the Baptist he has seen saw。过去一千五百年，每一年都要过逾越节的时候，他们都要杀羊羔。For the past fifteen hundred years, every single year they have to kill a lamb to present、uh, to remember the Passover. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to take care of the sin. But there is no way for them to That is what the lamb that has、uh, that has been killed in the past represented. It is a perfect sacrifice. This is the perfect sacrifice. Even to a point when Jesus was crucified on the cross. John chapter one verse twenty-three says, "When the soldiers put Jesus on the cross." When the soldiers had crucified Jesus on the cross, Jesus 到最后说了一句话，他就断气了。Jesus says this one phrase, and he gave up his spirit. 他说成了。He says it is finished. 他没有说好难过。He didn't say, "Oh, I'm so sad." 他没有说我好痛苦。He didn't say, "Oh, I'm in so much despair." 他说成了。He says it is finished. 也就是这完美的祭物。达成完美的任务了。That is, this perfect sacrifice has conducted the perfect、uh, sacrifice. 达成什么任务 ？Which what did he do? 他成为逾越节的羊羔。He has became the lamb for Passover. 当他的血与他的肉分开的时候。When his blood was separated from his body. 我们看见约翰福音第呃第一章呃呃。应该是，对不起，应该是十九章三十三节这边说到。And John chapter nine should be chapter nineteen verse thirty three. It says， 在当耶稣断气以后 ，After Jesus has given up his spirit， 有一个兵丁来到耶稣那里。One of the soldiers came up to him。他从底下看见耶稣挂在十字架上。From below he sees Jesus up on the cross。因为在那个时候，因为是逾越节。Because it is Passover that time。所以犹太人的习俗是说，在逾越节的时候不能有尸体挂在木头上。To the Israelites, they have a tradition that during Passover there should not be a corpse up on the cross. 这不单是对那一个人的咒诅，很可能也把咒诅带到整个以色列民当中。It is not only a curse to that one specific person, but it can actually potentially bring curses to the whole Israelite nation. 所以犹太人就要求当时的法法官、当时的官员说：“你赶快把这些尸体
十几拿下来吧。So the Jews went up to the judges and asked them, and the judge said to take down the corpse. 要把这些人确定他们是否死亡。But they have to make sure that the, they have already given up their spirit. 兵丁他是有办法。The soldiers have their ways. 他们可以用底下拿着长枪把挂在十字架上的犯人打断他们的腿骨。The soldier can use a spear to pierce and uh, uh, break the bones, break their leg bones. 以至于他们的腿上面的动脉破裂。里里面开始大量内出血。And the arteries in their within the legs will burst, and they start、uh, bleeding from within. 但是没想到耶稣已经说成了。But however, Jesus already said it is finished. 这个兵丁不太确定耶稣到底是否死。The soldier was not hundred percent sure whether Jesus died. 于是有一个兵丁就拿一个枪去刺耶稣的肋旁。So one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear. 随即有血和水流出来。And at once there came out blood and water. 我们在这边看见血与肉分开了。Here we see blood and body has been separated. 就有如在逾越节的羊羔，血跟肉分开了。Just like the Passover lamb, their blood and their body separated. 因着这个血，以色列人得蒙救赎。Because of this blood, Israelites were saved. 而耶稣今天在这边成为一个完美的祭物。And Jesus today has become the perfect sacrifice. 他的血成为我们众人的拯救。His blood became the became the salvation for you and I. 因此我们在逾越今天在逾越节的时候。So today, as we're in the Passover, 我们纪念耶稣的死。We remember Jesus' death. It is not a simple death, but a perfect sacrifice, perfect lamb's death. He has given his own body to us. He used his blood to cover 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 us. He used his blood to So just like the Israelites when they were experiencing Passover, they must believe in the blood of the lamb. Otherwise, if they don't have the blood of the lamb on their doorposts, they must believe the capability of the lamb's blood. Because if they did not use the blood to cover their doorposts, their children will still die. Their firstborn son will still die. So today, as we remember Jesus' death, we remember Jesus' death. 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 This blood has nothing to us. Now we are in AD 2000. Now we're 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 in AD 2000. The night before Jesus went on to the cross, when he was having supper with his disciples, he used this supper to tell his disciples this one thing. He said, "This bread is for me. He says, 'This this is my body, which is for you. You have to remember it regularly.'" Or else you will forget. 同样，饭后也照样拿起杯来说：“这是我，这杯是用我血所立的新约。你们每逢如此喝的时候，为的是纪念我。” In the same way, also he took the cup after supper, saying, "This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it." 对不起，这边应该是呃《哥林多前书》第十一章。Oh, this should be a First Corinthians, so chapter eleven. 
耶稣说：“我们为什么还要继续这样做呢 ？”Jesus says, "Why do we have to do this again?" 我们知道以色列人他们做守逾越节守了一千五百年。We know that Israelites have hold、uh, the the feast of、uh, Passover for fifteen hundred years. 他们不断这样做的时候 ，They continuously practice it. 他们被提醒 ，They're being reminded. 他们的拯救乃是因着有一个无辜的生命的死亡，以至于他们被拯救。They're safe because of a life sacrificing for them. 同时，神也要告诉他们。And the same way, the Lord is trying to tell them. 他们将会有一个完美的牺牲，来给他们成为他们的祭物。That there will be a perfect sacrifice that will come for to shed their their blood for them. 以至于他们经历了一千五百年以后 ，So that the Israelites, even though after fifteen hundred years， 耶稣来了 ，Jesus came。而如今现在耶稣耶稣已经来了，已经为我们成就了，为什么我们还要纪念这件事呢 ？So since Jesus already come, then why do we still remember this？ 因为我们要纪念他还会再来。It's because we have to remember that Jesus will return. 当我们属于神的基督徒，我们不知道基督会再来的时候 ，When us Christians who do not think that we don't know that Jesus will come again， 我们很自然的 ，Naturally， 我们会被这世界的王所掳去 ，We will be taken away by the king of the world， 我们很自然的 ，Naturally， 会被外面的蜥蜴以及我们里面的罪所掌辖。We will be held in captive by the sins within and without. 但是当我们知道主还会再来 ，However, if we know that the Lord will come again， 我们的生命就被警醒， our 被提醒 life, ，Our life will be alerted. 我们知道我们必须要随时的依靠主 ，And that is, we have to continuously rely on God. 因此，待会我们吃这个饼、喝这杯的时候 ，So therefore, as when we partake the bread and the cup later. 我们一方面纪念耶稣基督为我们的死。And one way we're remembering Jesus sacrificing His life for us. 一方面我们纪念他会回来的。And also we have to remember that He will return. 他会回来就代表 He will return. It means 我们要对我们自己的生命负责的。That we have to pay for or pay a price for ourselves. 我们的主会来跟我们算账。Our Lord will come and ask us for payment. He will return. What does that mean? 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 But of course, we're men. 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 We are being reminded. Our salvation is not a gift. That our salvation today, it does not, it did not come freely. Although we have received it freely, but it was not completely free. Even though we received it freely, but it was not, it was not cheap. It is actually paid by death. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we are being reminded that we have to live a new life today. So we
Whether you're a child or adult, whether you've been baptized or not, I invite you to join for the Holy Communion. If you have accepted Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, when you partake the bread and the cup, we are remembering Jesus' death. 如果您还没有相信，还没有接受，或者还没有受洗的，If you have not accepted the Lord as your Savior, or if you have not been baptized，我邀请您一起来到主桌前。I invite you to come to the supper, the table，来经历像以色列人他们第一次吃逾越节的那一个情景。To experience like the Israelites when they first had the Passover feast. That is, death is so near to us. And death is coming so quickly. But today, the Lamb has shed his blood for us. And as we enjoy this together as a family, enjoy the feast together. We have been protected. We are protected. The, the angel of death will pass over us. Every single one of us will face death and judgment in the future. But at the final judgment, but because of Jesus' blood, our sin are, it has been passed over. After we sing the following hymn, I invite everyone to come forward. Some are, as, are invited to experience this together. And some of us are here to remember the great thing that Jesus has done for us.